All right, folks, we have here a pretty intense power chair. So this is actually, folks, the Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing. This chair will stand a person from a sitting position to a standing position, okay? This chair has two miles, so it's literally brand new. Two miles, you can see the tires are not even dirty on it. It has seven electrical function on this chair. It has the 14-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, the interior tilt. It also has the feet that go up and down, and it has the standing feature. That's seven electrical function, folks. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna show you, again, this chair has two miles, okay? It's the Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing. It's loaded with other stuff, which we'll cover as we go along. But the first thing we're gonna show you is the standing position. So if you're gonna make this chair stand, you have a person in the chair, you have to have the chest guard or use this part right here, okay? So we're gonna leave this on here. So you gotta have one of the two on there when you stand a person. You also have to have the knee brace. When you put the knee brace on, the legs have to be all the way in. In fact, they should be in more than this. It makes it easier if the legs are too far out, when you go to put the knee brace, it, it hits the seat, okay? So you have to have the knee brace in when you put the, uh, when you lift the person up. So the first thing you're gonna do is you can do it, all the functions through the joystick or through the switch box. I'm gonna use the switch box, it's quicker for me. So if I hold the seat back, hold the button back, you'll see the, whoop, you'll start seeing the seat going up, okay? You're gonna start roughly at 22 inches when you start going up. Now it'll go up, it'll do all kinds of fancy movements, that's normal, and you're gonna wind up standing by the time we're all the way up. <clears throat> you can see that it does have also a permobil bag on the side of the arm. So we're almost standing now. So this is called a standing feature. And the thing about this feature is you can drive this chair while it, you're standing. If you've noticed now, the front tip wheels are on the ground. When we started, they were about four inches off the ground. They go to the ground when, you, when the chair, when the seat tip stands up like this, the tip wheels in front go from three inches off the ground to all the way on the ground. So now, as you can see, the person would be standing and you can still drive it while standing at a cost of much reduced speed, but you can see the front and the knee brace can be adjusted. So you can turn this right here, this knob, turn it and it brings the knee brace in or out. And these are also adjustable. I mean, you can see the screws right there. All that is adjustable, okay? You can look at the back of the chair. If I turn it around, you can see how new it is. Okay, while we have it right there, let's look at the base of this chair to show you how well constructed this is built, okay? So you can see it's a front wheel drive. So these are 14 inch wheels. And these are the aggressive tires. What I mean by aggressive tires, they have bigger knobs, same with the back. The back tires have the bigger ridge, the big, so those are called the aggressive tires. A little bit better when you're outside in the grass, okay? So you have a better traction. You have a shock right here, and you have another shock here. There's two shocks right here for this side of the chair. This one covers the front, this one covers the rear fork. You have the same thing on the opposite side. You have four of these shocks right here holding this chair. There's an anchor point here, and there's another one here. This is where you secure your chair to your lift or to your van if you're going to transport it, okay? You have one there, one inside the fork, same thing on the opposite side. You have four anchor points. You have a motor right here that goes this way directly to the wheel. If I wanted to push this chair right now, this chair weighs probably 450 pounds. You're not going to push it. And if, if you had an issue and you need to roll it, all you have to do is make sure I should have done it with the seat down, but since we're down there, make sure the power is off and then push the lever down. And what that does, it unlocks the wheel. You can see the lock is on the wheel. You have to do both sides, then you can roll your chair around. This is where your lever is to put it in neutral. When you're done rolling it, make sure you put it back in gear, okay? You can see how well constructed this is. This is so well constructed, this is why it's so heavy. It's just a, an amazing machine. Okay, so let's bring the chair back this way. Let's give it a second here. And now I'm gonna bring the seat back down. Then we're gonna cover the other features. 
As the seat is going down, let me talk about the, some other features. This has a swing away joystick. So this joystick was right over here. Now you can move it to the side. This enables you to get closer to a dining table. If you're left-handed, we can switch all the joysticks, the, the, this joystick to the left side with no problem at all. See the wheels are coming off the ground right now in front. So this is just an amazing chair. This is one of the few chairs that has a 14 inch seat lift also, 14 inch. I don't know of any other chair you can go any higher than that. All right, so we're back down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the chair a little closer to the wall here so you can see it better. The next function we're gonna do is called a seat lift. The seat lift is the seat going up by itself. So you're gonna start roughly at 22. By the time the top of the seat is all the way up, you'll be at 36 inches. So we're going up from 22, and you can stop anywhere in between. 22 to the top, right about here, would be about 36 inches. Again, when the seat's elevated with this chair, you can still drive the chair at a reduced speed, of course. So if you see, you can see, it drives pretty decent, actually. So the seat's elevated right now. You can see the seat armature right here. The actuator's actually right there. So very, very dependable chair. So we're gonna bring the seat back down. Button this way. Some of these chairs, if you push forward, the seat goes down. Some, if you push backward, the seat goes up. So that's why sometimes I get confused with these knobs here. So now we've got the seat going down. So these are the two major functions that people talked about, the standing and the seat lift. These are very important to a lot of people. Another feature that's very nice about this chair, it has what's called, we're almost all the way down, the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here goes back. So when the base right here goes back, it takes the legs and it takes the back, okay? So this is called the electric tilt. Okay, so this is how far back it'll go. The next thing I'm gonna show you, while, we, while we're here, let me just take this chest, we don't need a chest guard if you're not elevating the seat to stand. We're gonna take the knee brace out and we're gonna raise the legs. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the feet up. Now this chair also has calf pads that are curved. Okay, the only good, these are great, but you can't shut your foot plate all the way down when, you're, when you get out of the chair because the, the calf pad is rounded. So if you needed some good circulation, you needed some good circulation, this is a little extreme, but you could also, you could also do it halfway tilted. So I'm gonna bring the seat halfway down just to show you. So if you're right about here, you'd still have your feet higher than your body, okay? So I'm gonna bring it all the way down. The next feature I'm gonna show you is called the electric recline. The electric recline is just a back going back by itself. As you can see, these arms do flip up. So if you transfer from the side, you can flip both arms out of the way. So this is the electric recline going back. We'll see how far down it goes. So it's pretty much a full recline, so you can see that, full recline on your chair. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring the recline back up, and I'm gonna bring the feet back down. I'm doing two buttons at once. You can do that with the joystick. If you wanna do the legs and the back coming up in one button, you can do it through the joystick. So if you're outside, leave your feet out at least that far, your legs, so you have more clearance, okay, under your feet, under your legs over there. All right, so now we've done the standing, the tilt, the recline, we've done the legs. The next feature I'm going to show is called the interior tilt. The interior tilt is where the seat um, will tilt forward, so look at this. Sometimes you have to hit it twice. Sometimes you have to raise the seat up a little bit. There we go. This is called your interior tilt. If you see that, you see it going down? Okay. This is called your interior tilt. So we've got about a 10, 15 degree interior tilt. If I bring it back down, you'll see how much we tilted. 
That's a forward tilt. It's called the interior tilt. Also, what you have with this chair are their legs are electric also. You can make these feet go down or up, but you, that portion you can't do it through, through here. You have to go in the joysticks. So you would go on here, find a picture of your seat by pushing the knob forward until you see a picture of your seat. Whoop, went right past it. So, again, when you have a picture of your seat, you want the yellow arrow to be up and down right here by the wheels, going this way. So but you can change the arrow by moving the joystick sideways. There we go. So now I've got the arrow going up and down from the foot plate up to here. And now use your joystick and watch the foot plate. You see it going down? And you can also go up. Now, if you go too far down, the lights are going to turn red on here. You can't drive. You have to bring them back up. They don't want you driving with your legs this far off the ground and damaging your chair. So this chair is very smart. Uh, it's one of the smartest chair on the market. Okay. So, so far we've covered the standing feature, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the 14 seat lift, the 14 inch seat lift, the electric anterior tilt, the legs going up and the legs, the feet going up and down. So this chair's got seven electrical functions. Okay. Now let's look at the seat on this chair. So here's we're looking at the seat. This is a Rojo seat. Okay. This is an air cushion. You don't have to have this. You, you can just take it off, put your own cushion. But this is the most expensive cushion you can get. There's a valve right here that you can pump air with a small miniature pump, plastic pump, and you can adjust the pressure on your air cushion. Okay. This is a 20 by 20 cushion. The back on this chair is a wing back. What does that mean? When you're sitting in this chair, you have wings on each side, so it keeps you, you can see for yourself, these are about five inches tall on each side. So hopefully whoever gets this chair will, be, will fit this chair. Now remember, if this chair doesn't fit you, it's not the right side. We can, we can change the cushion, we can change the frame, we can change the back, we can make it fit. Hopefully, because this is a really nice back, okay? You also have a safety belt. You have another chest guard here if you don't want to use the one in front. You also have with this chair the full lighting package. You see the lights in front right here? Okay. You also have with that flashers front and back. So this chair is fully equipped with the factory lights, flashers, flashers and lights. This would be flashers on the opposite side. So it's got the whole lighting package, okay? And you can see the lights. These are the real lights, folks, and they're on the frame, too. Real good lights. They'll light up quite a ways in front of you. So you got the full lighting package. Also with this chair, you have a USB port. So right here, you can charge your phone through this little port right here. This is called a USB port, okay? The back of the chair. You've got a fully adjustable headrest. This headrest has got several positions. With an Allen wrench, you can change all the position you want. Any position you want. Back here, right by the, the rear in the, right in the rear of the chair where my hand is, there's a button. I'm going to turn it off. You'll hear it. Right above the reflector. There's no more power on the chair. When we ship these chairs, we turn the power off right here. And when you get the chair, you need to come right here, hit the switch. And then the power is back on, but you have to turn the power back on up front when you do that. Okay? You got to give it a second, and then it's ready to go. So when you charge this chair, you'll take your Permobil charger that you get with your chair, and you plug it right below the joystick, and the other part goes into the wall. As soon as the light goes from 20% to 100% on the charger, the charger will stop charging. These are smart chargers. As soon as the batteries are full, they stop charging. So let's recap on the chair. This is the Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing, seven electrical function. This chair has two miles. It has the aggressive tires, solid tires, aggressive tires. It has the 14 inch seat lift, the standing position, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet the interior tilt, and the feet that goes up and down. These are amazing. It has a bag here for the arm. It has a safety belt. It has a full lighting package, all the hardware you need. It comes with the charger, adjustable headrest, 
20 by 20 seat rounded calf pads. So if you're looking for an F5 standing, this is as new as you're going to get and we can adjust these to fit your size. So if you're looking for an F5, this one is black in color. It's only a few months old. Uh, it's a 2021 model. Uh, I'm sorry, 2020 model, almost 2021 model, practically brand new. So this is the Permobil F5. Top speed on this share is seven and a half miles an hour. It's not going seven and a half miles an hour right now because it needs to be calibrated. It was probably toned down or reduced down for someone. But this share will go, when you get this share, it will go seven and a half miles an hour, okay? So the suspension on this chair is unbelievable. When you stop, it stops dead straight. Just a nice power chair. So I'm elevating the seat right now so you can see the chair. The seat is going up and my feet are still on the foot plate. Everything goes up in one piece. We're gonna raise it up to 14 inches above. It's gonna be a total of the, <clears throat> by the time it's all the way up, it'll be at 36 inches. And the chair still drives with the seat elevated. There we go. So right now we're elevated. You can see the speed of the chair. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it. So 2.4 miles an hour is what I see on the screen. 2.4 miles, which is about walk, a good walking speed, okay? So if you elevate the seat on this chair, please do it only when it's flat. Do not go in the backyard with the seat elevated. You're asking for trouble. Uh, these are nice chairs, but you do have to take care of them. So if you're looking for a chair that has everything you ever want, F5 VS standing power chair, this is one of them with two miles. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.